Like everyone else around the world, Muslims were shocked, saddened and disgusted regarding the Paris bombing and the killing of so many civilian people in that incident. Nabil Qureshi was no different. He came on a latest video telling the people how sad he was when he heard the news of Paris bombing and how this incident had reminded him of 9-11 when back then he was still an Ahmadi, a very minor sect among the Muslims and how this incident had challenged his faith and he started investigating Islam, reading the Quran, reading the narrations of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and boom he made a discovery. Guess what? He started taking his audience now, telling them that, by the way, the terrorist attacks that are carried by some Muslims, it's actually a command by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's a command by God Almighty in the Quran. It's a command by Muhammad, peace be upon him. It's not just done by crazy, insane people. No, 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 no. They are following the commands of Muhammad. Thank you very much. Peace of Christ to all. I respond to this video already, so don't take me wrong. I'm not going to answer what his claims is watched my videos before this and I expose it very clear. In this video I'm going to expose this person not what he is saying. You see there is something you need to know and you need to learn. Muslims they have two faces. There's faces they speak with to Muslims and there's faces they speak to or with to non-Muslims. And this is called taqiyya. And taqiyya is not a practice for the Shia as some people they think. Taqiyya is a satanic verse in the Quran. It is chapter 3 verse 28. Muslims, Sunni and Shia both they follow. And just to prove my point before I continue, I will show you the interpretation for the verse. This is chapter 3 verse 28 and this is the interpretation of Ibn Abbas, the best, best, best scholar, who he is the only one Muhammad he prayed to Allah to make him a guide for Islam. And actually when people they come to Muhammad to learn about a verse meaning he go and say go to Ibn Abbas and ask him. So there's no way this guy he will not be accepted as interpretation. However you can change the interpretation and you will see all of them they share the same thing. The Muslims are not allowed to take friends as a from non-Muslims and you can read it all but I, I want to show you here if a Muslim he mean it if a Muslim he mean it really to take you as a friend, if he if you are a sincere, if you are a sincere to take me as a friend, and you are seeking might and honor by taking the hypocrites and the disbelievers as friends. So if you are a person who is sincere, and you are seeking might and honor by taking the hypocrites and the and the disbelievers as a friends, this person. He has no connection with Allah. What does that mean? He is not a Muslim. He is out of Islam. He has no connection with Allah. And he has no honor. What does that mean? Muslims will dishonor him. And he has no mercy or protection. What does that mean? Muslims have the right to kill him and shed his blood. From Allah. Unless, uh -huh, there is exception. So now, if you are sincere, you will, you will have all those things. If you take friends, if you are sincere, this is what will happen to you. Now, unless, unless what? Unless you take them as a friend for this reason. What the reason? It to be that you yet guard yourself against them. Like this guy now, he live in, in non-Islamic countries, so he have to speak nice. He have to say, we Muslims, we don't want to do jihad, we don't want to kill you. This is the taqiyya. Save yourself from them. If you say, I'm going to kill you people of China, the Chinese, they will throw him out to Egypt with, with the free shipping and handling. Uh, save yourself from them. Talking as it were security. Saving yourself from them by see, speaking in a friendly way. You see how friendly he is in the video? Brothers, Muslims are so disgusted for what happened in 9-11 in Paris. This is very disgusting. Speaking in a friendly way toward them while your heart dislike this. Bingo. Can you find me more satanic book more than this? So this guy, this Abdul, when he said to us, 
Islam don't teach such a thing. He's talking about what? He is practicing this. He speak to you in a friendly way because he assume you are stupid. You do not know. Hmm? You do not know what Islam teach. And based on that, he can fool you. However, in his heart, he hates you to death. And in this video, I'm going to confirm this from the mouth of this guy and his master. You see, this is the good thing about the internet. I found a speech for this Abdul praising his trainer, his teacher, the one he learned Islam from. Later we will see what his teacher he said. In this video, remember, he said, that those who did the attack in 9-11, when Nabil Qurashi remember it, they are not following the command of the Prophet. They are just a bunch of crazy people. Listen carefully again, just to remind you, you know, to refresh your memory. It's a command by Muhammad, peace be upon him. It's not just done by crazy, insane people. No, 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 no. They are following the command. So he is trying to deny that those people have no connection whatsoever to the command of the Prophet. Now let us expose this liar. I found a video of this man uh, on Australia. He is making a speech on Australia. In his speech, I'm not going to play the whole speech, simply there's no point. It's a stupid speech anyway. A bunch of terrorists sitting behind the, the tables. And uh, all of us, we know that those flags they are raising you know, is a flag of conquering, the flag of the Khalifa. Some people, they might say, well, it's green. You see, there's many Islamic parties. Each, each one of them, he have his own flag. And there's a party, is called Hizb tahrir Hizb tahrir actually, is a lot more dangerous than ISIS. You can go and search it. Now, uh, there's Al-Qaeda, Hizb tahrir but all of them are the same. All of them, they uh, uh, about conquering non, the, the non-Muslims country. All of them about sponsoring jihad, killing the infidels, and force Islam onto the world. This is the target. This is why the Muslims, they open an Islamic center in Hong Kong. Hey, by the way, Christians, let us see how good you are in sponsoring what we do. Who is going to help us to open a Christian Islamic center in Hong Kong to defeat the lies of those people? Are we going to let them spread their propaganda and their lies there? Who wanna help me? If you are really interested, I am interested to open center in Hong Kong, in Philippines, in Vietnam, in Korea, in Singapore, wherever I can. And trust me, I can handle it all. I want to do training for Christians everywhere, Christians and non-Christians, so we can defeat this cult. And this is the best way to fight terrorism, not really by army. Now, let us see what this guy he said in this conference. This is something in you. Don't tell me this is was like his old opinion. This has just happened two months ago, August 15, 2015, in Australia. All right? Let us hear what this man, Wael Ibrahim, he said in his speech. First one is a suggestion, and I remember uh, the first time I met Sheikh Wajdi Ghunayn in Hong Kong, uh, we were very excited to go and learn from him and uh, he was staying there for like uh, two years and we went there and we were very excited. He's very famous even before I was uh, practicing Islam. I used to see his tapes in Egypt in, in the masjids, the tapes, Ustaz Wajdi Ghunayn and we used to hear his names. He would come to the masjid and deliver the khutbah of Da'id and he was so funny and so on and so forth. So the hype that we had to meet Sheikh Wajdi Ghunayn was very, very high. And he gave us an appointment that he would start training us on certain, you know, uh, 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 branches of knowledge. So we went and we meet Sheikh Wajdi Ghunayn. Before he gets started, you know what he said to us? Where is your pens? All right. So I'm not going to play the whole thing. Anyway, he's, he's praising him. Long, long speech, he's praising his master. And we heard him saying he was trained at least for two years, full-time training, school training. Under Wajdi Ghunayn. And before that, he always listened to his tapes and he go to the mosque to listen to him. So he's an old day student, but he became an official student in a school. 
and the teacher and the trainer, the only teacher and the only trainer he had, it was Wajdi Ghunayim. Now let us see what Wajdi Ghunayim he stand for. Listen carefully and let us expose this liar because if Wajdi Ghunayim is your trainer and he is your teacher, it means you agree upon and not only this, everything you learn, you learn from him. So what was the real name? And not only this, he is praising him. So he's not like saying that this guy is he's dumb, he's stupid. Yes, he is Islamic, etc. He's not, you know, he's not saying this guy is a crazy dumb to him. No, he is praising him. He opened his speech in Australia, speaking and praising what was the real name. He's a trainer. He is actually trying to give himself legitimacy in the front of the scholars there. I am a student of what's the real name. So don't look at me and not no one, you nobody know me. No, 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 no. I am a student of Wajdi Ghunayim. So this is, will give him a certificate. This is, will give him a ticket in the jihad world. This is, will give him a ticket between the, 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 the best of the Muslims. This is, will give him the credit to be a teacher. Listen carefully what Wajdi Ghunayim he teach. We heard while Ibrahim saying that those who did 9-11 are a bunch of crazy and they are insane. However, he's a trainer and his master and his teacher, he is saying the opposite. Listen carefully. And by the way, he is making this video to defend the Islamic State ISIS. The whole video here is against anyone to attack ISIS because at the end of the day, they are Muslims. Now listen carefully how he prays the hero, the wonderful hero, Osama bin Laden. Hmm? This guy, he said, those who did 9-11 are a bunch of crazy and they are insane. But yet his master and his teacher and his trainer, and I'm sure, I'm sure, and you know it. And while Ibrahim he know it, and every Muslim he know it, in his heart he say the same, but he is just doing his job. Someone working overseas to praise and to promote Islam, he have to play the snake, as we showed you here. He speak to you in a way, but in his heart it is this like this. That person is not worried about the West because he is not getting his salary from there, and he don't live there. This person, he is living abroad, he is living in Hong Kong. This is why he is trying to present Islam. Islam there is weak. There is a few Muslims there. They can be kicked out easy. So now he has to play the game of the snake. We speak to them in a friendly way. Toward them while our heart is like that. So let us hear what his master and his trainer, and remember, I'm not the one who named him master and trainer. He is the one who praised him just two months ago. Just two months ago. Let us see what his master is saying about Osama bin Laden. Watch with me. اللي رمت جثة الشهيد البطل المجاهد ابن لادن الله يرحمه ورحمه واسعه We will never forget. We will never forget what the filthy America did. What the terrorist America did. When they throw the body of our hero, the murderer, the mujahid. You see it? How you do that? Is that how you respect a human right? Yeah, yeah, this is how they respect a human right. Why, why? You know, those people, they cut heads, they, throw their, they, they cut their limbs, they cut their hands, and they throw them in the street for dogs to eat them, why they want them not to, actually in the, in the ocean is a nice death, better than throw him to the dogs as he used to do to, to people. But the important, he is praising Osama bin Laden and he's calling him a hero and a murderer. But this potato here, he called those who did 
a bunch of insane and crazy people so who of you is the one telling the truth and this is my challenge to Wael Ibrahim I challenge you Wael Ibrahim I challenge you I challenge you three times like your prophet always he repeat three things three times because he have a mental issue I challenge you to make a video and say that Sheikh Wajdi Ghunayn is a stupid idiot and he is a terrorist and Osama bin Laden is insane I challenge you prove that you are against what he is saying let us see if you are the man I'm waiting for a video from you to say that Wajdi Ghunayn saying such a statement is a really an idiot and he do not represent Islam he is actually a false Muslim for because this is not the teaching of Islam right you told us that you are disgusted for 9-11 and those who did 9-11 are insane well your master and your trainer saying the opposite <laughs> الشهيد البطل المجاهد المجاهد ابن لادن الله يرحمه ورحمه واسعه طبعا يالله مرسي ورحمه ترمي جسته في البحر <تصفيق> ترمي جسته في البحر هو ده احترام الانسان وحقوق الانسان <تصفيق> المهم فاقول وبكل قوة انا مختلف مع اخواني في الدولة الاسلامية my نعم. brothers you see what he called the ISIS do you see what he called them my brothers ISIS are our brothers they are true Muslims and they are brothers let us play it again وتحفظات إخواننا عليهم أرجو من إخواني في الدولة الإسلامية يراجعوا نفسهم ودائما دائما يتمسكوا بالقرآن وبالسنة بفهم السلف الصالح ويتحدوا يد واحدة ضد أعدائهم ضد أعدائهم فأنا مختلف معهم في بعض المسائل صح لكن لا أوافق إطلاقا 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 على التحالف الصليبي لضربهم أنا أنا أحط في إيدي صليبي no way. I will put my hand in the hand of a crusader to fight my brother the Muslim? Absolutely not. I disagree with them with some things, but they are my, our brothers. So he's saying to you that a Muslim, he cannot help anyone against ISIS. We should unite with them. We should unite together against the who he called them the crusade. And by the way, the funny the crusade have Saudi Arabia according to him the crusade have Emirat but I understand what he will say I will show you a different video because he considered those leaders are not Muslims they should be killed they should be slaughtered look at this ugly faith and you know both of them Wa'il and this guy they have the same dot here do you know what this dot is they hit their head in the ground for hypocrisy to show people that we pray a lot you will notice both of them they have the same thing if you look at this guy and this guy both of them they have it here you see it actually what they do some of them they they, they, they got a little stone and when they are watching TV they hit their face so when they go out so people will see oh wow this guy he is a devoted Muslim who pray a lot so he is praising Osama bin Laden. He is not condemning Osama bin Laden. ISIS is his brother and he is asking them to unite together. Why we would put my hand in the hand of a crusade to strike my brother Muslims? Absolutely not. By Allah, never. Okay, what else? وإلا صدق الله القائل سورة آل عمران لا يتخذ المؤمنون الكافرين أولياء من دون المؤمنين ومن يفعل ذلك فليس من الله في شيء إلا أن تتقوا منهم تقاء ويحذركم الله نفسه وإلى الله المصير سورة آل عمران والله عز وجل يا أيها الذين أمنوا صورة النساء لا تتخذوا الكافرين أولياء من دون المؤمنين أخوي المسلم أخوي المسلم غلطان صلحه إن شاء الله أضرب سورة الحجرات وإن طائفتان من المؤمنين اقتتلوا فأصلحوا بينهم 
فإن بغت إحداهما على الأخرى فقاتلوا التي تبغي حتى تفيء إلى أمر الله قتال أهل البغي مش قتال أهل الكفر فإن فاعت فأصلحوا بينهما بالعدل وأقصته ده أخويا المسلم اللي النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم بيقول في صحيح مسلم المسلم أخو المسلم لا يظلمه ولا يخذله ولا يسلمه ولا يسلمه ما يسلموش للأعداء ما يسلموش للأعداء المؤمن للمؤمن كالبنيان يشد بعضه بعض حديث صحيح للنبي صلى الله عليه وسلم حديث آخر صحيح مثل المؤمنين في توادهم وتراحمهم وتعاطفهم مثل الجسد الواحد إذا اشتكى منه عضو تداعى له سائر الأعضاء بالحمى So Muslims are like one body if you attack one finger of them the rest they are going to respond and Muslims at the end of the day even if they have differences they should stand together and they will never deliver a Muslim to non-Muslims so if somebody from those who they are shooting in Paris, he come to a Muslim house, to the, to the house of Mr. Wa'il Ibrahim, and he asks him to hide him, he is not allowed to give him out or to call to report him. He have to respond to that and protect him because he is a Muslim. Even he might be not agreeing with, the, with him the way he did it because he should kill more, maybe, maybe more, like it's not worth it to kill only 130. Maybe he want him to kill two millions. Still, he will support him and he will protect him and he will give him refuge. He will hide him under his bed if the police came. Because his master, who he named him as his master, his best trainer, he don't agree. And you notice here he says something very important. I do not know if you notice. Let me play the video again. <laughs> فأقول وبكل قوة أنا مختلف مع إخواني في الدولة الإسلامية نعم مختلف معهم في بعض المسائل وأرجو أنهم يراجعوا نفسهم في بعض المسائل اللي أثارت عليهم زعل إخواننا وتحفظات إخواننا عليهم أرجو من إخواني في الدولة الإسلامية يراجعوا نفسهم ودائما دائما يتمسكوا بالقرآن وبالسنة بفهم السلف الصالح ويتحدوا يد واحدة ضد أعدائهم See it? We should unify as one hand, right? As against our enemy, their enemy, the Muslims, should be unified. We should be unified with ISIS. We should forget about our differences. We have one call is the call of jihad. What else? <laughs> على التحلف الصليبي لضربهم انا انا احط في ايدي صليبي احط في ايدي في ايد صليبي عشان يضرب اخويا المسلم اطلاقا والله ابدا والا صدق الله القائل سوره ال عمران لا يتخذ المؤمنون الكافرين اولياء من دون المؤمنين ومن يفعل ذلك you see it you see it he is reading the same chapter i'm reading for you this one he said chapter of al umran exactly the same chapter he's saying no we will not put our hand in the hand of the crusade unless 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 what unless we are doing this you see it saving ourselves from them speaking to them in a friendly way toward them while our heart is just like this now this is your best best trainer he praised Osama bin Laden, you call the one who did 9-11 insane crazy. So who of you is the crazy one? Who of you is practicing this? I wonder. What do you think, guys? Who is the one practicing the taqiyya? Mr. Wa'il or Mr. Wajid Yughunayim? I believe Mr. Yughunayim is being honest. And let me tell you why Wajid Yughunayim is being honest. There's a reason. Not because he's honest. No, 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 no because he is speaking in Arabic you see when those Muslims speak in Arabic their audience is the Arab and everybody knows what they believe in but when they speak English the story is different so the same person who speak in English he will deliver different message when he speak in Arabic if you fly in in the Saudi airline you will see there's a brochure the brochure in Arabic it says Allah don't make us die in the land of the infidels and return back home to the land of the believers and the Muslims. 
and keep us away and safe from the hand of the infidels and their filth and their dirt. It's a very filthy prayer, cursing the non-Muslims. But the brochure in the same in the same brochure in English says, "Welcome to Saudi Arabia. I hope you have a great flight and will come back and etc. And may Allah guide you and save you in our trip." The same brochure have two or three two different messages. One of them is cursing the non-believers, calling them names, and the other one saying nice words in English. That is Islam. الإسلام ويحارب المسلمين وربنا سبحانه وتعالى يشفي صدورنا منهم في الدنيا قبل الآخرة لا 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 للتحالف الصليبي ضد No, no, no to the crusade against the Islamic State and he is saying may Allah make our, our, our chest happy by getting those infidels which means he getting them killed in this life not in the judgment day only so he's seeking his God to destroy those the disbelievers today, not tomorrow. And no, no, no. No one should attack the Islamic State. They are our brothers. That is the trainer of this Abdul. Now I have one more video. I know the video became longer, but just for the sake of knowledge. And please, again, don't forget to copy this video and spread it everywhere. Let us expose this filthy, disgusting, satanic religion. In different video, I found this video. He is saying, as you see, and the, the, the nice thing about this, by the way, this is a translation done, done by the Muslims, by their own TV, not by me. All right? If those, he's speaking about Muslim leaders. <clears throat> uh, and by the way, those, this guy is a Muslim Brotherhood, which means this guy is a Muslim Brotherhood too. All right? So those are from the gang of the Muslim Brotherhood. Both are from one organization. Look what he's saying. People, they want jihad. People, they want jihad. Why you stop them from having jihad? He is speaking to Islamic leaders. If the people, they want jihad, who are you to stop them from having jihad? What's wrong with you? Why you don't let them go and help our brothers? Wherever the Muslims need a brother to fight, like in Syria, in, uh, in Israel, in Afghanistan, those people, they want jihad. We want jihad, man. He is asking, the, where is the Islamic armies? Where is the Arab army? If we are the one who select you as a leader, how come you are not attacking the enemy? And who is the enemy? America, Israel, Christians, Jews, uh, atheists, communists, you name it. The, the list is long. Anyone is not a Muslim is an enemy, including the Shia, by the way. وتبقى دلول طرطوش طرطوش مجرم خاين لبلدك وخاين لقضيتك يا اما انك ترفع رايه الجهاد نعم رايه الجهاد either you are a muslim either you are a believer or a disbeliever and either you give up and you became and you lose your 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 hereafter you lose your 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 uh, your eternity because you are not a muslim no more or you raise the banner of jihad so which one you want to do you see it or raise the banner of jihad. Which one you want to do? You have one of two choices. Muslims have only two choices. Either they lose their eternity, either they lose their status as Muslims, or they are Muslims who will raise the banner of jihad. This is Islam. Anyone who don't raise the banner of jihad, he don't support it, is not a Muslim. And by the way, jihad, you can support it in many ways. Like this guy now is supporting jihad. He's spreading Islam. And then those Muslims, they can recruit them to do suicide bombing, etc. So it's a soft jihad. There's two kinds of jihad. The, 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 the harsh one and the soft to go within the land of the enemy. So now he, he cannot do the hard jihad. So he do the soft. His trainers say clearly, he, he, there's no choice. We have to do jihad because this is what Islam is about. Because if you don't do jihad, you lose your hereafter. 
then you will be an evil traitor to your country traitor to your religion to your after or raise the banner of jihad رايت الجهاد هتكلفك بتكلفك شهداء طب ما هم بيموتوا ايه المشكله يا اخوانا ده الحرب العالميه الاولى 5 مليون ماتوا الحرب العالميه الثانيه 55 مليون ميتين في سبيل الله ايه سين ذا جهاد از جوين تو كوست يو سو وات ذا ذا فيرست وور وورد وور يو نو كوست 5 مليون بيبل داي ذا سكند وان 55 مليون سو وات جهاد ويل كوست يو سو وات And then he recites for you a verse from the Quran saying, those who die in the sake of jihad, they are living in the heaven. So why you are sad? Let them die. Let us die for jihad. وأجل القرآن سورة آل عمران ولا تحسبن الذين قتلوا في سبيل الله أمواتا بل يرزقون فرحين بما أنت زعلان ليه طيب فرحين بما أتاهم الله من فضله إحنا ما بنحزن على شهدائنا بالعكس ده إحنا بنحب الش... إن دول يروحوا شهداء حيموتوا حيموتوا خلوهم يموتوا بكرامة لأن ده اختيار من الله في سورة آل عمران ويتخذ منكم شهداء هو أي حد عايز شهداء ربنا بيديها له لا لكن لكن الفكرة في المجرمين العملاء الخونة يعني أدي أدي آية يا أخي في سورة المائدة رقم 51 Look at me please carefully Focus with me This is the trainer, the master, the teacher, the best man, the best friend, the best companion, the best person he learned from Mr. Walid Oh sorry, uh, Wael Look what he will quote for you That a Muslim he cannot be a friend or taking a protector as non-Muslim But this Abdul here, he live in Hong Kong and the police there and the government, government and the leaders are not Muslims. So how he can stay there? If the Quran says you cannot take them as a friends, the answer is easy. Is this chapter. You see how this important this chapter is? We speak to them in a friendly way to, to guard ourselves. But in reality, we cannot take them as a friends. Read with me what he is quoting for you. <clears throat> Are you a number? Yes. <laughs> ومن يتولهم منكم فانه منهم ان الله لا يهدي القوم الظالمين مش دي ايه في القران بس اذا this is a verse in the quran لا احنا بنحب ان دول يروحوا شهداء حيموتوا اذا this is a verse in the quran chapter 5 verse 51 take not christians and jews as a friends and protectors and who take them one of them as you see here is one of them like if you take me as a friend and you are a muslim you, you are at out of islam So this is the best advice for the trainer of Wa'il Ibrahim, the one who take Christians and Jews as a friends, he is one of them. You've been exposed and you've been served. I asked the Christians to listen carefully, and even non-Christians, even if you're an atheist. As you see, the Muslims trying to spread this filthy cult religion, hateful, disgusting, satanic, everywhere, And this is why they are opening a center in Hong Kong. Why we cannot open a center in Hong Kong? I want to open a center in Hong Kong. In every country I can open in, especially in Asia. Like Vietnam, Singapore, and uh, uh, Philippines, Hong Kong, etc. Why we cannot do that? How those people, they can open a center there and they are nothing but a gang who they are teaching hate. And we are the one who will teach people how to love each other and warn them from such a satanic religion. Why we don't have our center? So we can fight the disease. Are we going to let those people deceive? of those poor people who live in Hong Kong who have no idea what this religion is about if you are interested seriously to do something contact me 
and we can see what we can do. Whatever form is available to do it, we will do it. I'm going to travel everywhere, but not for nothing. If we want to do something serious. All right? So let us work together and let us expose this filthy religion. And if you are interested with my idea, let me know. And we will see what we can do. However, before we finish, I advise everybody to read my books, The Deception of Allah, which is giving you a great summaries about Islam and a great information. And I believe it's going to be a wonderful Christmas gift, which people will remember you with. And you can save the life of somebody who might in the future be deceived or might be deceived by a Muslim, a co-worker or a student, a school, etc. You don't want your children to be infected with such a disease. And uh, as you know, Muslims, they, they have a lot of propaganda regarding uh, Quran and science in Islam. So I have another book. This is the one. Most of the review are coming in Kindle, not in the paperback. This is a paperback. Uh, it's a great book, full of information, uh, rebooking all and re like, like exposing, let us say, all the funny uh, 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 science the Muslim they claim that the Quran he has. When you read it, you will see how crazy the Quran is and how much the Muslims they are dishonest when they speak about science in their book. So I advise everybody to read it. Uh, the book is a little bit big, but uh, you know it took me a lot of work, uh, but it's worth it, and you will learn a lot because each time we answer one of those things, we expose one of the funny things or many stories in the Quran, which is proven not only the Quran is not a book of science, it's a book of funny jokes, fairy tales is not even good for Mickey Mouse cartoon. Follow with me with more videos, and don't forget please to download the video and spread it everywhere. Everywhere you can. Facebook, YouTube, whatever tube you have. Christ is Lord and Islam is false. I mean to that. Thank you.